what a gamble. Gambling at a point like that, when you're down two sets to love, service break would be practically fatal. It's a second double fault. that devastating backhand of Arthur Ashes this afternoon, putting him in two points from the break. And I'd say that Cliff Ritchie very, very apprehensive right now. who's been varying his rushes, decided to come in on the second ball. Well, he has to. I think that Arthur would have uh, come right in on it himself. Oh. Oh. Yeah, this could be it, bud. Break point. That could sink Cliff Ritchie. Good volley. Ooh. Again, off of a good volley, we see a sensational shot. Cliff comes in, nice backhand down the line, a good cross-court volley, but watch this one right back at us. And back live now, one fault, as Cliff Ritchie is serving at deuce, five all in the third set. Hard game for Cliff Ritchie. He's brushed aside one break point, twice at deuce. Trying to get the 6 5. And he's there. Six, five to Arthur Ashe. From Gum Spring, Virginia. Isn't that a wonderful name? Actually now has an apartment in Manhattan. His father lives in Gum Spring. These players lob so seldom, it's surprising to see the overhead smash, which is, of course, one of the great things in the game. Drops in, I think. Yes, sir. Called out. Mike Croslin on the baseline, called out. He is the gentleman on the left with Doug Stewart on the right, the football fault judge. He said out, but then the ball landed, and he put his hands down immediately, signifying it was good. 15-30. Would have been a very important call had it been mm. reversed. It could have been. Aren't they waiting until? They've called it 1530, which means, uh, Bud, they called the ball out. We had a feeling that they called the ball. They must have no, called 1530. the ball. 1530. Yes. Yeah, 1530 was good. He called it out, but signified it was good. Yet she's still going, and he has it. And now a couple of set points for Cliff Ritchie. Oh. Fault called by John Sternbach of Denver. 
The linesman, he'll hang out over that line to get as close as he can. 30, 40. Here's the second set point. Richie would just as soon win it here as to go into sudden death. And right now, sudden death is Ash's hope. That's the only way he can win this set. Well, it's a tragic thing for Cliff. He made up his mind he was going to win the set with a, a placement. Really lifted his head very quickly and his whole body. Well, he had the shot he wanted. It was a short serve. time at deuce. Richie straining to make a return. He's already had two set points. He's got it. Arthur lets everybody know how he feels. Very lucky. Two indecisive things there. He almost let a ball bounce on the volley. points averted by Arthur Ashe and it is now time for sudden death as the red flags fly all over the state and Jimmy Van Allen in the grandstand waving his own red flag we just saw him he is of course the Newport Bolshevik the man who invented the tiebreaker, and particularly this form, sudden death, best of nine. Richie serving the first two points and losing the first one. And of course, here's where a lot, of, a lot of players feel this is unfair, right here. One point off. One, one, one. The serve goes to Ash. Richie has played seven sudden death sets in this tournament, has won five and lost two. Ash has been perfect, three for three. Now his serve, two points. Oh. Of course, the main thing, he has five serves out of the next seven points, so what an edge for Arthur. If it goes in. Richie, now, taking that edge back to himself. Cliff Richie, perspiring really heavily there, trying to keep his racket hand dry. Must point for Ash. Oh, misses. Richie thought he had it, though. Two, two. Morris Hamburg on the line said it was wide. It's two all. And definitely can. We'll take a look at it for ourselves, bud. Is Cliff Richie ready to do something good here on a return? He sliced it coming into the ball. There it goes cross court rather slowly. Arthur lets it go. Yep. Ooh. We could see that it was out, at least in my opinion. And it was confirmed by the linesman at the other end of the line. Two, two. Now in the tiebreaker, the players are right back there. There it is again, but I, I really felt, basically felt it was out. Two points all now. Richie serving the next two points. A killing return. Two, three. Mickey Richie doesn't like it there. Richie has to have this point. He's the happiest man outside of his son in the stadium. Four, two. So it's 4-2. Arthur Ashe has a match point now every time he serves. And he will serve the last serves of sudden death. Oh. Match point. Oh. 
and she keeps it alive. Cliff Ritchie feeling you can only die once in this sudden death. Goes for it. Still match point. Oh. Ritchie elects to stay in the back end court, bud. It's receiver's choice. It's four points all, which means it is simultaneously match point for Ash and set point for Ritchie. Ritchie's third set point. One good return, and Ritchie can have the set. One brutal serve, and the match is Ash's. Good serve, good return. Arthur plays it back carefully down the middle. Cliff hits a good low forehand. Arthur's still in the action. Down the line goes Cliff, not good enough. And that ended the point, game, set, and match. And Arthur Ashe, first player to reach the final in the 1972 Open Championship. Arthur A, 6-1, 6-4, 7-6, into the final over Cliff Ritchie.